Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Alyssa Marie, just in case you're new. Today I'm gonna get into something super important and that is finding the right natural hair salon for you, okay? What might work for me might not work for you. What might work for her might not work for us. Like, you know what I mean? You gotta find the right natural hair salon for you. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can do that. Recently, I shared my first natural hair salon experience here in Atlanta. And I got so many questions from you guys on like, why did I choose that salon? Or what factors did I look into? Cause I did say that I did a lot of research, but I didn't actually tell you what research I did. So that's what this video is gonna be about. I'm gonna tell you guys everything that you need to look out for when you are choosing a natural hair salon to visit. Because honestly, there's nothing worse than a bad experience at a salon when you feel like they've ruined your hair. It's just, oh, it just feels like a little bit of heartbreak. And I want to help you guys avoid that 100%. So we're gonna get into all the good stuff today. Before we jump right into it, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, especially if you like what you see, you might as well, okay? And also make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you never miss a new upload ever again. All right, let's get started. So my first tip is going to be actually something that is like kind of the most important thing for me personally when I'm looking into a hairstylist and that is find a hairstylist who is educated for curly hair. Curls are variable, okay? There are loose curls, wavy curls, there are tightly coiled curls, there are kinky curls that don't really curl like this, but they curl like zigzag. Like, there's so many different types of curls, so there are actually people who are specialized for more super curly hair versus those who are specialized more for the looser type of curls. So me personally, ever since the very beginning of my natural hair journey, I, I don't know, I guess I'm a little bit biased because the person who did give me a big chop was Diva Curl certified. Now I know the whole Diva Curl scandal has got everybody a little bit nervous about their products and even questioning the Diva certifications. I have come out here and told you guys straight up that I have stopped using their products for now just to be on the safe side. But in terms of the Diva Curl certified hairstylist, I really still think that those certifications are boss. I think they are super important and I just genuinely have so much more trust for somebody who is actually Diva Curl certified. So if you don't know, Diva Curl has this whole entire certification process for hairstylists. There are different levels. There goes from like level one to level three, I think. I think level three is called like master stylist. So you can literally go on the Diva Curl website, type in your zip code, and it will spit out the nearest Diva Curl certified hairstylist in your area. And then the good thing is that when you find those stylists, you find deeper information on them on the website as well. So it'll tell you if they're level one, level two, etc. Diva Curl actually has a specific certification or class or something like that where you can learn specific techniques for super curly hair which is really, really cool. So it'll literally tell you if they are a texture expert or are they certified with like super curly curls. Like you will literally get to see all of that information based on the stylists that are in your area. So not only do I really love the actual Diva Curl certification process and how educated they are on curly hair specifically, but I also like the fact that their website makes it so, so easy to find stylists in your area. So this is literally like one of the easiest ways that you can find a stylist that you can for sure trust are educated specifically for curly hair. So this is actually the first thing that I did when I came here to Atlanta. So once I found the name of the salons that were listed there, I then went on their websites. This is another tip for you guys. Like you gotta do your due diligence, you gotta do your research, you gotta check up on them, okay? So check the websites of the salons that you kind of have your eye on, the ones that kind of feel good. And usually you kind of wanna go with somebody who has like a nice established website. It's 2020, okay? Everybody needs to have a decent looking website. If they are still a little bit sketchy on the website front, I feel like that's kind of a sign that you don't really want to work with them. I mean, without having a website, you can't really, uh, it's just, I don't know, it just seems unprofessional to me and I don't really want to go somewhere that hasn't taken the time to create a website. Like I said, 2020, like you need to have a good website in order to make me feel comfortable coming to you to cut my hair that I work really hard on. I don't want you to ruin it. So yeah, check their website. Make sure you review all the services that they offer. So do they offer specific like diva cuts? Look at the service offerings and then also make sure that you can check out the pricing as well. A lot of people like to overcharge for diva curl certified haircuts. And it's wild. It is absolutely 
wild. So if you're seeing prices at one salon that are like two, three hundred, don't lose hope. You don't have to pay two to three hundred dollars for a diva cut. I'm telling you straight up right now, you don't have to. Keep searching because there are diva curl hairstylists who actually do cuts really well for much more affordable prices. So just keep searching until you find something that's affordable. If you're a person who can splurge and you, you know, you feel a little bit more comfortable paying a little bit extra, then no problem, go ahead and do that. But I just wanted to point out the fact that there are more affordable diva curl services out there. You just gotta keep looking and you just gotta find it. So once you've reviewed the salon website, you've checked out their service offerings and the pricing is okay for you, the next step is to check out their social media. Social media is such an important tool nowadays and this honestly can now be the make it or break it point of whether or not you're gonna check out the salon. Instagram and YouTube are both great resources, although I feel like on Instagram you will get to see more of the daily pictures of their actual work so maybe you start with instagram first and when you are checking instagram make sure you're seeing them do people's hair that is just like yours so if you have super curly hair like me or even a tighter texture you're going to want to make sure that you're seeing those kind of textures on their page if you're going there and you're only seeing white people with straight hair you're seeing black people with their hair straightened that's already kind of like a you kind of want to go to someone who's all about curly hair. Like not somebody who normally does straight hair all the time, but they're willing to cut your hair this time for you or willing to color and treat your hair, whatever it is that you want to go for. You don't want that. You want somebody who is all about curly hair, who's passionate about it, passionate about the health of curly hair, like that's when you're gonna find the best services ever. So not only do you want to see people on their page with textures that are similar to yours, but you also want to see them doing the service that you actually want. So for example, if you are going somewhere for a protective style, on their Instagram, you're gonna wanna see tons of box braids, passion twists, like French braids, you're gonna wanna see it all on their page. You're not necessarily gonna wanna go to a salon that just shows people with their hair out, and that's it. And that way, you'll also be able to better judge how well they are at protective styling. Are the parts super straight? Are they slick? Or does it look like they kinda just learned how to braid? A couple days ago like this is why it's so important to check out Instagram because it will show you everything that you need to know and if what you're looking for is missing on that page on to the next okay time for you to find a different salon or a different stylist to look into now YouTube is gonna be kind of a better place for like personal reviews so like how I did my little vlog experience at Curl Envy Salon here in Atlanta you will be able to get maybe more vlogs and review styles from regular people and they can tell you straight up how their experience was like that's one of the best ways you can get a really really good review about a salon is through a vlog because you literally can see it all happening right in front of you so make sure you do check YouTube too you can just literally type in the salon name plus review or salon name experience and hopefully something will come come up and just make sure that you take into account the person's hair type, the service that they went for. If it's similar to you, then great, but if it's not too similar, then maybe just take it with a grain of salt. So yeah, at this point, let's say you've checked the website, you've checked social, now it's time to go back to the website and check availability because this is another telltale sign of whether or not the salon is good. Is it fully open for the next like forever or is it booked up two months in advance? Because if it's booked up two months in advance, while that might be off-putting and kind of annoying at first, that is actually a really good sign that that salon is very well liked by people in your area. And especially if it's a curly girl specific salon, you will be able to know that if it's curly girl specific, it's curly girl clients that are booking out that salon, which means the curly girls love it, which is always a really, really good sign. I know though, I know it can be really frustrating to love and wanna go to a salon that is always booked up, but trust me, it is worth it because once you are able to get an appointment, oh my goodness, it might change your life. For example, for Curl Envy, I kinda, I literally did all of this actually when I was checking out Curl Envy. And lastly, when I was about to make an appointment, just seeing how booked up it was made me fired up. Like, dang, I really need to get in on an appointment. So even though I was desperate, I'm talking desperate, for a trim, I booked mine out two months in advance just because I knew that waiting would be worth it at the end of the day. Now, one little trick that I did learn actually is that if you are desperate like the way that I was in order to get in, make your appointment for the next available appointment. And even though that might be two to three months in advance, 
check the website every single day for cancellations. And if the salon booking system allows you to get on a wait list, wait list yourself every single day. I know it's annoying, but maybe just set a reminder on your phone because if you're desperate and you really, really wanna get in, get your service done and get it done by somebody who is professional and somebody who you can trust, it'll be worth it. I mean, literally check every single day. That was the way that I was able to get my appointment literally a whole month early. Now I know going to a natural hair salon can be super, super scary. I'm still scared. I, I honestly get scared every single time I go. But what you can do to make you feel a little bit better about your first time with a brand new stylist at a brand new salon is maybe book a treatment and that's it. Don't go straight in for a cut or a trim. Don't go straight in for a color. Literally just test the waters with a treatment. A treatment is not drastic and it's actually really difficult for people to mess up a treatment. And then on your part, it's really no commitment at all. So if your hair comes out a little bit different than you actually wanted it to come out, that's fine. You just wash it and then boom, it's back to normal. So that's definitely something that you can do in order to just test it out first. Zip your little toe in the water before you go fully diving in into that new salon. Another thing I wanted to point out is the fact that you might want to go to different stylists for different things. So if you go to this stylist, he did your treatment well, but then you try to go for a trim and then your trim was kind of like eh, a little bit off or if he cut a little bit too much, you might realize that you will need to find stylists for different things. Some stylists are specialized in color and some stylists are specialized in cuts. So depending on the type of service that you're needing, you can go to those different stylists. And you can use these same tips that I have mentioned in this video to find those stylists, find the right ones for you and use them whenever you need it. It's always nice to have a backup stylist just in case. So yeah, these are all the factors that I looked into. This is all the research that I did when I was looking for the right natural hair salon for me. Personally, although I was super, super happy with the salon that I went to, I'm still planning on trying some new natural hair salons here in Atlanta. So you guys can stay tuned for that. If you prefer for me to be your little guinea pig as usual, just stay tuned. I will be trying out some new salons here as well. I'm constantly trying to search for different salons, different stylists. Y'all know how I love to experiment, okay? <laughs> So I'm gonna keep trying places out and of course, as always, I will be sharing all of the information and a full on review with you every single time. So yeah, I really hope that you guys found this super useful. Actually, let's do something even more useful, okay? If you're a curly girl watching this, go ahead and comment below your favorite hairstylist and just put what state they're in, maybe city and state. I will go ahead and shout out James at Curl Envy Salon. He was great. I'll shout that out as my contribution, but everybody else, go ahead and comment your favorite stylist below so that other people can come and reference this video, look through the comments, and maybe find a stylist that will change their life today. I'm really looking forward to seeing all your stylists. Hopefully, some of y'all can comment some in Atlanta so I can check them out the next time as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.